Alright everyone and welcome back to the channel, or welcome if you are new here. I'm Christina aka That Brighter, and today we are back and we are locked and loaded for possibly the home stretch of my career universe mode. Last time around we saw the Royal Rumble matches that were quite disastrous, but we were working with what we had. Am I right? Right. We've got Christina Bennett out here, here on NXT UK. That welcome will always give me chills down my spine. Thank you. It's for that very reason I'm out here tonight. It's for all of you, and it's also because of a lot of things that are happening and that we saw unfold in recent weeks. We've had a lot going on, to say the least. I've always prided myself on being someone with integrity, someone with honor, someone who will stand up and do what's right no matter what the cost. Qualities like that are in short supply these days in WWE, it seems. We've had a lot happen here. I was one half of the tag team that won mixed match challenge, but I did indeed lose at Royal Rumble. So what is next for Christina Bennett? You know what? That is a great question. What is next for Christina Bennett? Oh my god, no. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, the runner-up to the Royal Rumble against the winner of the Royal Rumble, the NXT Women's Champion, Charlotte Flair. This confrontation should be interesting, and if the quality is possibly up or down, uh, this is our first video on the brand new computer that we debuted on our NXT reaction video, sort of, back in July. Uh, I want to say that was on our July 20th reaction. So just giving you a heads up there that we might have a couple of growing pains for the next video or two, potentially. But here we go, friends. We've got Charlotte Flair, Christina Bennett, Royal Rumble winner versus Royal Rumble runner-up versus, you know, the NXT champions, essentially, in the women's divisions. Allow me to show you and these folks what an actually talented person can do on the mic. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry you had to put up with her crap for so long, but rest assured, things are about to change. I have a vision for NXT and NXT UK's women's divisions. You know, I was in the middle of something, thank you very much. Show me the respect I deserve by letting me finish, then I'll deal with you. Focus is incredibly important in this ring. And right now, I need to focus, just like you need to focus on your title, I need to focus on my title, and you need to focus on your decision, since you did indeed win the Royal Rumble. I'll own up to that. I mean, she's got some integrity by owning up to it, at least. Keep talking. Every new line is more fuel for me. Each one is a new chance to respond and show how much better my lines are. My lines are the best lines. Your lines are like used lines from a wrestling thrift store. What do you got Girl! What do you got against thrift stores? I know you want to get your claws on me so bad, but it's not my call to make. But if the powers that be think that the WWE Universe wants me to tear you to shreds, well then, I'll, gla I'll gladly oblige. If you truly want me at WrestleMania for a third time and a final time, keep defending the title. Fine by me, because I actually defend my championship even when I'm in a mixed tag team tournament. Just know that management isn't going to be able to save you now. I hope you realize that there's no going back now. I will decimate you in this ring when we have our match. The countdown to your demise has begun. Apologies for that. I didn't realize that was going to happen. Oh man, they're facing off right here. This isn't good. Oh! Could we potentially get... Could we potentially be getting NXT versus NXT UK champs at WrestleMania? Charlotte's the Rumble winner. Christina Bennett, of course, winning the number 30 spot due to Mixed Match Challenge. And I don't know what's going to happen. I, I do not know what's going to happen, other than Charlotte just being very... Uh, she was kind of dancing around that management issue right there. I'm, I'm sur I mean, it wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. Look at look at the circumstances to how Christina Bennett lost her, uh, lost her general manager position back on Universe Mode. Oh, and a huge move right there. Oh, we got some static going on in the headphones right here. Holy crap, Charlotte Flair attacking the chat. The fans are not, ha you hear these fans out here, they're not thrilled at all. All right, well, we've got an interesting situation on our hands. So Charlotte says that she will 
gladly take on Christina Bennett for the NXT UK Women's Championship at Mania, if and only if she can hold on to her championship until Charlotte makes her decision. So I don't know what that even means. I, and she was kind of egging her on in the management situation. I mean, we've got to get that whole situation cleared away because of the whole stipulations in the tournament to kind of prevent her from getting to number 30 in the first place. So, how will this unfold? Well, luckily for y'all, we've got plenty of time left in the episode, so let's just keep on moving. All right, everyone, and here we go. Got the NXT UK Women's Champ, Christina Bennett, in the last week's episode. We saw... Uh, an interesting confrontation and a bit of an attack from Charlotte Flair, the NXT Women's Champion and Royal Rumble winner, onto Christina Bennett. And Charlotte basically said, look, if you just keep going until I decide that I want to, you know, make my Rumble decision, you've got to continue to defend your title. And we've gotten some more information about that. Apparently, we have a takeover coming up in just a few weeks. And so, I'm assuming that's the last pay-per-view event before Mania? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing makes sense, but we had some uh, subtle jabs at management there, which, I mean, our girl here knows a thing or two about management, I would think so by this point. But she is in action, of course, against somebody from NXT, an up-and-coming talent known as Sarah Schultz here. So this should be quite interesting indeed. Apparently it's for the title? Oh my god, I forgot that I had it on. When did I have this on for the title? Okay, we'll roll with it. I guess she's gotten herself a championship opportunity rising through the ranks. Maybe she won the breakout challenge. I don't know if this happened, to be honest. <laughs> I don't remember putting this as a title match. That's the funny thing about it. I just set this up like 10 minutes ago. We're going to roll with it. So, uh, Christina Bennett is uh, defending her championship because that's just what she does. <laughs> God dang. Well, what a way to uh, kick things off here. Uh, sort of. In terms of the action, at least. Jesus, take the... We're off to a great start on our... Well, to be fair, we haven't recorded or filmed anything in like a couple of weeks, so... We're a little rusty, but that's okay. Oh, what a huge head scissor takedown to get out of the hold right there. Oh! Bennett right out of the gate right there. Oh, a huge move right there from Christina Bennett. We saw these two kind of face off back when Christina Bennett was over on NXT. However, anything can happen. Things can change within a year or so. So we've got some more fight going on and that sort of thing. Who knows? But Christina Bennett in her first matchup since the Royal Rumble pay-per-view took place. What just happened right there? <laughs> oh my god, we're off to a great start. Oh, huge kick to the back of the... Back. <laughs> I don't know what I was going for there. Oh my god. <laughs> 10 out of 10 commentary. We're off to a great start back, I promise. But hey, I mean, look at how smooth everything is. We've got 1080p. I mean, Grant, we're at 30 frames a second. But it counts, and it's a bit of an upgrade, if I do say so myself. Huge DDT right there into the cover, and a one count, and Schultz kicks out. And Christina Bennett, this is her ball game. She She's... Got a bit of a bone to pick with Charlotte Flair because, again, runner-up and Royal Rumble winner and that sort of thing. It does pose the question, what what did Charlotte mean that she has a vision for the women's division on both uh, NXT and NXT UK? What were the management jabs for? I don't know. But we're going to find out sooner rather than later, or so I hope. Oh! This is the drop kick in the corner. And Schultz with the huge suplex onto the champion. Apparently this is a title match. I didn't, I didn't realize I said it as a title match. That's the funny part about it. I don't remember this becoming a title match. That's the hilarious part about it because, you know, you've got the jobber entrance and then you've got the freaking like, champion entrance with the champion counter. 
Oh, what a huge maneuver right there. We saw her pull that out at uh, Royal Rumble in the uh, Mixed Match Challenge Finals. It does also pose the question as to who Kyle O'Reilly will go after, because he's got some options. He's got four total titles that he could pick from very similarly to Charlotte Flair. I swear to God, on paper, my universe mode makes little to no sense, but once you understand the canon of it, then it makes some sort of sense. We need to do like a video or something if we haven't done so already, just explaining everything. Oh, and a huge dropkick to the outside. Look at us floating on the commentary table chairs. Look at that. Who is she? Oh, and a huge kick right there. I already feel everything just being smoother. Holy crap. A huge counter right there from Bennett. Oh my god! What's Bennett up to here? What is she up to? She always gets something in the back of her sleeve. Huge frog splash and into the cover. Could this be it? And a one count. Okay, that was fantastic. Fighting champion appears on NXT UK here tonight. Oh no. Well, how do we know what she's doing? Well, to be fair, we do know what she's doing here. Oh, and she has put away a number of people with that move before. That move's just as dangerous as the freaking, like, hammerlock DDT, though, or the Polaroid DDT, as we refer to it as around here. Indeed, this is awesome, but will that kick be enough to put away Sarah Schultz here tonight? Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Christina Bennett has won the match. I don't know why I just said that, but here we are. Again, we don't know how we got into this championship situation right there, but I mean, we're starting to see a little bit of an aggressive side to Christina Bennett. She, she ain't holding back whatsoever with the microphone or in the ring, and we can respect that. She has learned a lot in the first couple of years of her tenure here in in-ring competition. She's, a pre she's approaching year number... She's completing her second year, which, that's kind of freaking terrifying if she's doing this well so far. But, I mean, look at that frog splash. Why couldn't we have gotten that angle in the first place? So, yeah, if we use that as the thumbnail, I don't think any of us are going to be mad about it. And look at that. She is overcome with emotion still. With the title... And look at that. She is proud to be the NXT UK Women's Champion. What a showing. Alright, well we've got Tony Storm out here tonight. I wonder what she will say right here. We just saw Christina Bennett defend the championship. But Tony Storm, well we had a run in with her during Mixed Match Challenge and it just didn't end well. So there's that. Let's get right to this. Tonight I'm a woman on a mission and this mission that I willfully take on because it affects me personally. The mission I'm talking about involves someone in the back. Particularly someone that I lost to, we're going to put that in quotes, at Mixed Match Challenge in the semifinals. Well, I wonder who that could be. You see, Christina Bennett's been a thorn in my side for a little while now, and I have goals that I'm working towards, and I can't be distracted any longer. So tonight, I'm taking matters into my own hands, and to nip this thorn in the bud. And so, because I didn't technically lose to Christina Betta at Mixed Match Challenge, I want her at Super Showdown. Well, I think she might get her answer right here, Fred. She may indeed get her answer right out here tonight. And, well, to be honest, I'm interested to see how this matchup is going to go in general. So, there's that. Will the champ make her way out to the ring right here? Oh man, she's not even out of her gear yet. Holy crap. It's like she's not even out of her gear yet. Oh my god. Well, she just defended her title, which I didn't expect to happen, to be honest, but here we are. Tony Storm, Christina Bennett, of course, were in the semifinals of Mixed Match Challenge together. Of course, that matchup was won by Bennett and O'Reilly, with O'Reilly getting the uh, fall on Pete Dunn. So there is that. Not to mention Tony Storm just was going right after the champ too throughout like the latter part of the match too. 
Look, it's not usually my style to come out here and interrupt somebody, but I mean, you did call me out here, so there's that. That just goes to show to you that, I mean, I'm, I'm hearing you out, and I'll give a moment to let yourself explain yourself. Wait just a damn minute here. Are you seriously standing in this ring trying to get into my face? You've got a lot of nerve, I'll give you that. It's too bad you've also got a lot of stupid as well. Do yourself a favor and walk away, because if you don't, you won't be able to later. What do you think, W Universe? Should we hear her out? You're in luck that the W Universe wants to let you talk. Word up to me. We'd be talking with our fists right now, as you know, you kind of felt at TakeOver in that semifinals matchup that I technically never lost. Tony Storm ain't having it, fam. Look, I don't have the patience to deal with your crap or anyone else's crap. I came out here to shut that Grand Canyon of a mouth you have, and I aim to do it. Don't think of walking away either, because once I have my sights set on something, I like you, I deliver. And at Super Showdown, I'm going to deliver and then some. How does the freaking Grand Canyon apply to the UK? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Oh, it is like... Girl, just stay in the back from now on at this point, because you just keep getting attacked by everybody, like, for reals though. But it appears to be that we're going to be getting Tony Storm and Christina Bennett at Super Showdown in Australia. So who knows what'll happen. Christina Bennett trying to feel the aftermath of that past match, but that matchup was very much in her hands. So she might she might have the advantage right here. Who knows? But she's obviously got some unsettled issues with uh, Tony Storm right here, to say the least. So there is that. When she, oh my god, Tony Storm is going right for that clothesline, but she got caught. She just got caught right there. Owned into a huge knee right there on the storm. Champ is not having any of it right here. Holy crap. Oh, and Tony Storm right here. Into a suplex. Oh, just stomping right at the champ right here. Oh, and into a drop kick. Embed it now, just right into the canvas right there. Stomp for good measure. And Tony Storm takes down the champion, but. Christina Bennett somehow gets back up onto her feet that I can't explain how, to be honest. But here we are, friends. Here we are. Storm and Bennett coming soon. All right, dearest friends, here we go. Oh my god, I was just trying to sit back up because I, you know, take breaks in between matches, you know, just to refresh a little bit and that sort of thing. So we've got Tony Storm, the number one contender for the NXT UK Women's Championship. So... We basically kind of outlined it in the promo section, but basically Tony Storm, if we caught the uh, semi-finals matchup of Madness, which was a submission match. There we go. I was like, I had a triple check like during my little like five second break there. I'm like, wait, what match was this? Because sometimes when you record things ahead of time, like you kind of forget things and that sort of thing. So yeah, um, basically... Tony Storm and Pete Dunne, they made it to the semifinals of Mixed Match Challenge against Christina Bennett and Kyle O'Reilly. It was a submission match. And, well, Pete Dunne kind of tapped out. So, that, that happened. So, basically, these two were not involved in the decision. However, Tony Storm went after Christina Bennett towards the end to sort of give the unfair advantage, almost. I don't know how else to word other than that. But here we are. Here we are indeed. We are at Super Showdown in wonderful, lovely Australia and that sort of thing. So a bit of a home country sort of thing for Tony Storm, right? I mean, I mean, we, we have hometown sort of thing, so maybe home country should be a thing. Potentially. But here we are, friends. Here we are. Let's get right to the match, my dudes. Let's get right on to it. Here we go. We have Tony Storm, Christina Bennett about to get underway right here. Again, if this is a little bit longer, my apologies. I'm just overexcited to get back into recording. Oh, 
Oh, she caught her. She caught the running maneuver right there. She caught it. Oh. Invent it now. Huge strike right to the back right there. And Tony Storm feeling the effects of this right here. If, if you're Christina Bennett, you have to keep in mind that Charlotte Flair might be watching your match, potentially, because, again, she's got, well, technically three at her disposal, three options. She's got the Raw Women's Championship, the SmackDown Women's Championship, or the NXT UK Women's Championship, apparently now. Maybe maybe she's thinking, like, okay, well, this is the, oh, God, big boot from Storm right there. Storm now going in for the cover code of this be it. Maybe Flair's logic is simply like, okay, well, I haven't held this title yet. Let's just wing it and go for it. Oh, and Storm is going for another big boot, but Bennett was prepared that time. Who who is she? Look at that. She she's getting so much better. We're proud of her. We're we're genuinely proud of our girl's journey around here, and that sort of thing. Huge clothesline. Let's bend it up to here. Huge slam onto the canvas. And this is the opening matchup, might I add. So, I mean, Brownie points to them for getting that opening spot. An opening spotlight, if you will. But apparently we're going to get a decision by the TakeOver event coming up in the uh, somewhat near future, I think. According to my notes, we have it on March the second. It, we have it in March, so next month on the uh, second week. Oh my god, what am I doing? Oh no. Oh no! My dumb stupidity and just me not being able to control my controller is just... It's a thing. Y'all ever get that way where you're just like... It's the Let's Players conundrum. Like, you're so distracted by providing commentary and so forth that you're just like, oh god. This is it. I love hearing people's loud music at 10 something. What is Tony up to here? All right, well, if there is a bit of a jump cut right in here. All right, so if there's a bit of a jump cut right here, Tony's throwing with the counter right there, it's because somebody, I guess, may or may not have been going through a terrible breakup outside because they were blasting Al Green. <laughs> I just, I feel bad for the person I do. Tony Storm going in for the cover. And a one count. Breakups suck, but sometimes breakups are mutual, I guess. I don't know. I, yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is going into personal territory here. Oh my god. I mean, I'm just saying, like, if my freaking Shazam can pick up your music from, like, ten plus stories above ground, you're probably too loud. Anywho, counter from the champ into an uppercut from Tony. Oh! Huge clothesline right there. And stomps continue to commence on a huge takedown right there. Champ's not looking too good right here. Oh, and a huge elbow to Storm. Huge counter from Storm. Oh! I don't know what that counter was just there, but we're proud of you. We're so proud of you, girl. I don't know where she came from with that. Oh, and Tony Storm now back on the offense right here. But she's 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 feeling exhausted right here. She's feeling the momentum shift in her favor and that she is in control and stuff like that. So, yeah, she's she's taking her good old time. Oh, huge counter. Again, these two know each other fairly well, but not well enough, one would argue. Oh, and what a clothesline onto the outside of the ring from the top rope right there. Bennett kind of got knocked around for a loop for a second, but she's doing okay. According to apparently the universe mode, like notes or whatever on the news panel thing, I guess she had like an injury for two weeks as well, which probably explains the one week gap and that sort of thing, so... Yeah, there's that. I mean, she only competed in three matches within like a 24-hour time span, so that would that would probably be uh, enough to, uh, you know, 
warrant a bit of a week off, if you will. Well, and the referee's at a six count. Bennett wants to wrap this up with a bow on top, all nice and neat. Two. Referee's at a two count now. Three. Oh, and Tony Storm just brought her back inside the ring right here. Oh, and Bennett. Into the armbar, could this be it? Or will Tony Storm power through? And Tony Storm makes her way through the armbar and into a huge counter. Huge strikes onto the champion right there. Oh, and Tony Storm now. For Storm, a very decorated athlete in her own right. Huge knee right to Bennett. And Tony Storm now going in for the cover once again. Bennett kicks out. Tony Storm can't believe it, but we believe it. We believe in her. Huge knee right there from Bennett right there. Into another arm bar. Could this also be it right here? But Bennett realizing that she's due a lot more damage for that to be effective right here. But you know what? It never hurts to wear down your opponents and that sort of thing. Oh, and Tony Storm is right back up. Okay, that, that was fine. Everything's fine. Huge tornado DDT onto Tony Storm. Could this be it? Oh, and a two count. And a two count. Bennett clearly getting a little bit flustered. Oh, but that's because she wanted to lock it in. She wanted to lock in the cross face on Tony Storm. Could this be it? Could this be it? I bet it now wanting to go up to the top rope to seal this thing away. Huge frog splash into the cover. Could this be it? Oh, okay then. Genuinely did not expect that frog splash to be what did her in, but that's okay. Well, to be fair, she did get the cross face locked in and then went for a diving attack after, you know, to kind of, again, nice, neat bow on top and that sort of thing. But definitely a hard-hitting matchup and definitely a fun match to get the crowd going somewhat, I think. Right, right. But what a matchup that we just saw. Christina Bennett did not. She pulled out all the stops. We need to change that as soon as possible, but that's okay. We're making this roll for right now. But we're seeing a different side to Christina Bennett here. A new little layer onto her overall persona and that sort of thing. The confidence is growing, and that may or may not be trouble for future opponents. All right, kids. So here's what we learned in this episode. We learned that Charlotte Flair, of course, is trying to ruin our lives once again. We had the management situation get brought up. Uh, Tony Storm had some business to take care of with Christina Bennett and well that got resolved right here and I accidentally make title matches apparently in this game so that's what we learned today here in WWE 2K20 my career universe mode once we get to mania that'll be the nice neat bow on top of this series so on that note thank you all so much for tuning in Again, leave a like leave a comment make sure to hit the subscribe button and hit the bell button so that we get notified when we upload around here so on that note thank you all so much for tuning in and I will see you all around later Bye, everyone. <laughs>